sure you know exactly how to hold the racket correctly. So on your hand, there are two spots we have to worry about. We got to worry about the base knuckle of your index finger and the heel pad. There's a straight line drawn between those two places. Now let's talk about the grip itself and then we'll talk about how to put the two together. So you just have to have your racket on its edge. Anytime the racket's on its edge, then bevel number one is on top. It's an octagon. Each bevel is 45 degrees, 360 divided by eight. So it's really important, even if you're one bevel off, you're 45 degrees off in your racket face. That could cause havoc. So what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that as we're serving the knuckle and heel pad, the line between our knuckle and heel pad is lined up on bevel number two. Now, if you're a lefty, this is bevel number two, but as a righty, this is bevel number two. Bevel one is on top, two, three. Since you're right-handed, you're gonna count clockwise. One, two, three. So bevel number two is kind of that 45 degree angle bevel on the top right. And what we wanna do is take that line and we wanna line it up on bevel number two. We're actually gonna take that line and place it from the butt of the racket up the grip. You'll notice if I open up my hand, you cannot see that line because it's on bevel number two. Many players hold on like this, the heel pad is exposed, and then the racket gets uh, easily shifts in their hand, which is actually how you begin. So it's gonna be important that we get the heel pad and the base knuckle of your index finger on bevel number two. 